In the fall, I dreamed of apples. In the fall, I dreamed of apples while stopped at the edge of the field, tasting sharp air and blue sky. No more the fragrant blooms of spring. Instead, amazing tastes, alcohol and the doctor's office, or grapes and grapefruit. Plastic, she said, of that one. Another tiny green one, looking like an unripe tomato, hard as marble almost, and sour beyond belief. How can it be, we wonder, that the same fields give rise to acres of goldenrod, looking all the same, while two trees, ten feet apart, can grow some fruit that looks and tastes as if it came from two different worlds. The poem is called Sleeve League. Cliffs draw us as margins must. That limitless curiosity limits excite. It's exactly the 600 meters of granite verticality that insinuates closer. Let me show you. Our thirst for clarity runs that deep. The glittering little lake at Bunglas Point observes unblinking as tourists and family groups head off along the ridge. There at Amhock Moor, the good view, a sketchy fence suggests, but well beyond the man and boy stroll and a girl sits leaned against a stone, turning the pages to her book rehearsing nonchalance. This high up, the breathing of the sea is barely audible. Watchers cross and recross the glass distance to the waves, imagining the release, almost welcome in the manageable summer air, daydreams less than vapor. Assume instead the composure of the heather after the cliff walkers return to their domestic suppers after the noisome cars reload and went back, sunset stains the stones mortal red and shadowed ambergris. In the mobile dark of borderland, the sea repeats without complaint the siren song of its remorseless loyalty. Anyway, when I had trouble sleeping, when I had trouble sleeping, she would come and stretch out on me above the blankets and breathe in rhythm. Soon I'd go to sleep and feel at last from beneath the covers something huge pulling away from the bed as if my own heartbeat were leaving me. <laughs> waiting in line. I was waiting in line when someone came up to me, quote, I'm so impressed with all you've done. So many poems, so many books, so many people who say nice things about you. A little thin, of course, when it comes to love. But still, congratulations, unquote. And then I was next. <laughs> Dropping sticks. Dropping sticks is a game the summer crows have learned to play, flying from May to September, one above the other. The hire lets his toy fall through the air to the other of the pair, who returns the favor. We gulp to see these evening acrobats climb so high printed black against the sky above the blacker hills. They become absorbed in their little game. It seems so tame. One drops a stick. The other catches it. What more is there to say? Just that every day my heart drops with it through the empty air till a strange and gay and capricious bird unknown to men, catches that heart, and it soars again.
a November poem for you. You are driving north in November. After sunset, you are driving north to Canadagua. Nothing but CD music to keep you company. Car heater, warming your legs in dark stockings, while past windows, starless cold, cornfield stubble, a missed corn stalk like a lone Indian staff, dead leaves for eagle feathers. At field edges, trees like shadows loom upright and passing headlights like corpses the real shadows. You think of flag-draped coffins from Iraq, Afghanistan, not shown on TV. From another war, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young sing helpless. Car taillights ahead, red trails floating over old Indian paths, buried ancestors. Helpless, helpless, you blink back tears, trying not to crash into the twisting shadows, trying to make a treaty with this beautiful loneliness. Falafel. Ooh, <laughs> Falafel. <laughs> I looked at your ass in kung fu grip yoga pants while I was shaping falafel spheres and thinking about basketball. I saw your lips shape a smile in a radiant tomato slice with sea salt precipitation. Your low, luring voice was conversing with caramelizing onions and perfect green grapes. You observed my crooked hands prepare the purple cabbage. You observed my crooked, scarred nose like a nurse in love. You observed my halo of late clouds, my coyote tracks for eyeballs and rice follicles. I unveil to you the past, present, and discontinuation of all invention due to the nature of hippie cereal and chocolate. When I felt you come, the soul of the big red barn experienced alien fission. I heard Zappa, peaches and regalia, toe-curling purgatory beneath the fat and stone moon. Night's cellular oil abandoning her human hosts. Near the bookshelf of contemporary poems, action movies, and empty rectangular planter boxes, near the lampshade of multicolored cloth shards, the antlers of my brother's mighty hunting arrows, the slow, maniacal burning of fluorescent green algae incense, near the pulsating synapse that fires directly into the most animal portion of us, the slice of us which smiles when our eyes open from dreams. Here's a poem by Ken McClain called An Edge of Thanks. The snow is not yet a reality here, and the first yawing of daisy slightly overcome cannot be taken as a reckoning. And though the wild rose is gone, the long-held rare song of a warbler rises like a stairway. Always, absently, though irrepressibly, this wintry world wanders from the knife to the cross. <laughs> Paris streets are cold in November. Shifting colors fade to gray and amber. Afternoon slides away. We walk along the lonely cay. Empty branches lace the edge of silent skies. Amber buildings stand along gray pavements. Silently the gray birds sit on amber casements. Gray skies make a roof above emptiness and closing love. Like the river after rain, 
our feelings right. The earth is in your eyes, so brown and deep. Winter is the silence of your sleep. Look and see how gray my eyes, small spaces of November skies. We turn and watch the river flow deep and high. When darkness comes and makes all colors one, mist dissolves distinctions and day is done. You and I, two perfect lovers, holding earth and sky together in a dark and silent room will softly lie like two colors.